Tyler Making 101 by Yakov Brown. We've got two cups of warm water. Yeah, two cups of warm water. One tablespoon of yeast. And then I put two tablespoons of sugar over the top to weight down the yeast and help activate it and then I've heated the oven up just to a warm temperature not a hot temperature and then I'll put this in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes to see that it rises properly. So you need your two eggs and one of them you use the egg white later on to glaze the bread. The uh, remaining whole one and the yolk you beat together. I've put three cups of flour in. We want a total of seven and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to put in four and a half. And then I'm going to put the remaining three cups of flour in as I mix everything else in. Um, that won't happen until the yeast is risen and I put the yeast in. I'm going to make a little hole in the middle of my I'm going to put the yeast in, in there then I'm going to put half a cup of olive oil the beaten eggs in there and half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of salt. So I'm going to put the salt in now and the sugar. So a tablespoon of salt. half a cup of sugar and then we're just going to wait till the yeast rises so I can pour it in. So he's just shut off the warm the oven, shut it off and then put this inside the oven just to proof it. We're just going to give the dry ingredients a quick little um, stir together. This is ready to go. Proofed.
eggs, oil went in, all the wet ingredients, and this is four and a half cups of flour, dry ingredients, and flax and wet ingredients. Smooth, slightly sticky, but not too sticky. So just do a little bit more and then put some flour down and knead it on the bench. Otherwise the machine won't cope with the...
So you're going to add flour basically until it doesn't get sticky anymore, is that right? Workout. Yep. Yep, playing with Play Doh. Mm -hmm. You can see it's not sticking to the bench anymore. So you want it to be you want it to be moist but not too sticky. And you want it in your bowl and you want to cover it with glad wrap to keep the moisture in while it's rising. Would a tea towel work, or do you think the glad wrap is a better story? A moist tea towel will work, but it'll stick to the top of the dough once it doubles in size, whereas the glad wrap doesn't, so the glad wrap's a better idea. And then goes into the warm oven to rise for an hour and a half, maybe longer, depending, and until it doubles in size. So it's off, it's just warm from before. Yep. <coughs> Okay, Jakob's had to go off to a meeting, but I have to finish the braiding. So I'll just give you a um, kind of a, a bird's eye view of what we do. And while I haven't done this for a while, so here we've got the double dough. So it's come out of the oven a couple of hours later. Still sticks a bit. Sometimes I put olive oil on the bottom of the um, glad wrap or plastic wrap, but I didn't do that. But no big deal, very little lost in there. Make sure you can see that nice and full. So you just punch this down, work it away from the sides. Get it all out of the bowl. I'm taking my rings off. I don't get to be home much for this, so I 
I better do it while I'm home today. And a mental health day today. There you go. So you just want to work that through. Very soft, kind of pliable dough. Now let's do push. I tend to do a kneading like this. Fold and push, fold and push, fold and push. You just want to cut it in half. I have a bent scraper here. Line up the best you can. You can weigh it out if you want to be precise. I just like to eyeball it. And then we're going to do, this is going to be a six braid. I know Yako can do seven, but I'm not as practiced. We have six strands. All you're really wanting to do here is um, roll from the middle out, get your strands as best you can, even thicknesses. Again, just working from the inside to the out. Let your hands just rest on the dough. They will shrink a little bit as they're resting, but you can just go back and braid them again. The longer the braid, the um, longer the loaf, obviously. That was a bit thicker, so I don't have to let that one as long. Giving the bench a good washing before. And then you want to just take your pen. I have a standard baker's pen, pretty dirty, but and then just line it with the baking. You have that prepared. Ready to go. That's what I'll um, put it on. Now it's only that a bit longer. I'm going to add it to this one. Do this one again. And this one again. Smush it in.
Okay, so I've got my thick strands. I'm just going to pinch each of these together. So you just pinch on top of each other. Like so. Not the prettiest strands. See if it's going to be. Do you like that one? So we're going to take, um, with the six, we're just going to take the first one, we pass it over. So you got one out here, and then you do the second one here, like that. And you kind of separate these down a little bit, not too much, and then this one comes down the center. But then you need one over here, so you just bring this one across here like that. And then this one comes down the center. And you carry on like that. So that one goes across. This one comes down the center. Move these aside as you go. Trying to keep it as tight as possible as well. And then this needs to go over that side. And down. One, two, three. I want to write the songs that make the whole world sing along. Might even dance till the break of dawn Cause you're so amazing yeah. So go ahead, turn the fans up You're the reason we got our hands up Gonna worship all night long Cause you're so amazing So amazing And as it comes near the end You're gonna get um, smaller and smaller strands So you just carry on um, The best you can that one across, one down, one across, that one down, one across, that one down, across, down, across, down, across, down, and down. And then you just pinch, I just tend to pinch them under like this. Just give it a little shove so it sticks. Otherwise, as it bakes, it kind of falls apart. And then, um, Going to, if it's too um, sticky still, just rub a bit of you know, the pretty pie hole. Leave it to the way you want it to rise. And we'll just leave that for a little bit, not too big. Um, the other way you can cut up your pieces. Um, I'm going to rise while I was doing that. Um, is you can do thirds. So, again, you can weigh these if you're really worried about the size. And then from your three, go half again. So again, you can do it up like this. Or like this.
They don't take long to, to raise up again and you don't want them too high because they tend to flatten out like that. And depending on what year it is, New Zealand tends to be a bit, um, the houses be as cold as outside. So um, if it's cold winter outside, obviously just pretty here, I'm turn it off. So just so it's warm um, and or you can just leave it on the bench and it will rise in the summer. It's quite warm in here today so I might just cover it with a clean tea towel damp tea towel for probably about an hour and then we'll come back and um, do the egg wash. So it's just been resting for about an hour. Um, last step is just to generously brush over your egg whites. I'm just beating it with a fork. Um, you can use a whole egg, a lot of people do. This just adds the color. generous as you like. And you can leave it as that at, at that or you can put it um, sunflower seeds. Some people like to just put their thumb in the um, egg white solution and press it onto the to spread it around. Or you can just sprinkle it on. Just kind of press and roll. And you just put it in your preheated oven at 180 for half an hour and take it out and you're good to go. And there's the finished product. Well done.